Hello, welcome to the da daily LPA power development struggle. Okay, so I what I've built here is uh, two setups of the front suspension. One is with the bionicle ball joints and one is with the standard small uh, Lego ball joints. I wanted to show you why I'm doing this with uh, ball, uh, bionicle ball joints. So let's take a look. First, the bionicle version. You can see, okay, you can see it's all a bit, a bit stiff, but uh, the ball joints are going to get a little bit sanded down, so it's going to be nice and smooth. But what we are focusing on is the uh, slack in the balls. And as you can see, when I move this, there is no slack at all. You can see the steering link here. There's no slack at all this is really when i try to twist it here you can see some slack but this is due to the chassis which are, is going to be different in the final version anyway this is just a, a crude mock-up to see where the bojans are so now now we see that there's really not any slack here, even if I, yeah, if I do it like this, yeah, I need to hold it here, yeah. So basically, the only way the suspension can go is up and down, and after it steering is added, it will be able to steer. Okay, so now let's see the difference between that and the small ball joint version. I try to en engineer this as good as I can. If I would be forced to put a small ball joint version on the car, this is what I would put on the car. Uh, it is equivalent to, to, the, to the bionicle ball joint version in almost every way. The geometry is exactly the same. Uh, as we can see, it goes very smooth up and down. But for this smoothness, there, there's a huge trade-off. You can see that there's slack everywhere. There's not a single joint on this suspension that doesn't have at least half a millimeter of movement. And look at this, incredible. This is precisely why I do not, I do not want uh, small ball joints on a car. It's bad enough uh, if there's only a single joint uh, on the bottom, but if you have a multi-link setup with so many ball joints, this is just incredible. I mean, yeah, sure, it's smooth, but but come on. Look at this. If this was a wheel in your car, you would not want to drive this. So I hope now you understand why I'm not using the, the small ball joints. Uh, the big ones is the way to go. I finally solved the Solve the upper ball joint. Come on. Okay, as you can see, it's as close as possible. The wheel is nice and straight. We have some nice caster angle. And this is going to, to be absolutely great in the car it has enough range we basically need just two maybe two and a half stats of oral travel this will be enough and the only slack that we have now is because we don't have uh, a 3d printed 14 uh, 14 mil uh, hub connector but 
in the next episode I should should have this one sorted. Anyway, this is it for now, and I see you next time.